Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Vera Lynn and this is Spiritual Findings. Today I am going to show you how I perform a simple honey jar spell. Now a honey jar spell is something that you would perform when you want to sweeten up a relationship. Whether it's with your husband, your boss, a co-worker, a mother-in-law, a sibling. This is something that we do to bring in that manifestation and put in that intent to sweeten up a relationship. There are so many different ways that you can perform a honey jar spell. You can go out to certain shops and pick up different items. You can just use stuff that you have around the house. It's all the intent that you put in it. Now today I am just using a vial that is 0.6 ounces and has a metal lid. I also am going to be putting in some chamomile just to sweeten up and to calm the relationship. I'm also putting in tiny amethyst crystal pieces to kind of distress and detox anything in the relationship that might be bringing up any resentment or any grief holding grudges, anything in that relationship that just is sticking from any healing to move on, okay? Now the honey that I am using is just something that I picked up from the dollar store, guys, okay? This is not my typical honey that I would use in my tea, but however, when it comes to my spells and my craft, you know, the simple cheap stuff is fine, okay? Because <laughs> I don't really use this when it comes to my tea, you know, maybe in different different cookings and things like that, but definitely when it comes to honey jar spell work, just simple cheap honey is fine. Now, however, if you want to use something special because you think that it will bring that special intent behind it, go ahead, okay? Highly recommend that you bless every ingredient that goes in, bless your jar, make sure you're getting in the mood for this, whether it's putting on a nice dress, putting on some music, maybe burning some incense or some red or pink candles, okay, that represent love and passion, okay? All right, so just simple things. I have my glass vial. I have some herbs that I'm going to be putting in there. I also have my rose petals too. And just make sure that you have a piece of paper and a pen. It's really as simple as that, guys. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be writing the person's name that I want to sweeten up the relationship on the piece of paper. Now, for any of you guys who have any special sigils, maybe your anniversary date, a date that you would like to see, you know, some progression in the relationship, go ahead and write it on. This is something personal. This is really where you're putting a lot of the intent in, okay? After you're done that, fold the note however you please. I always recommend that when you're folding the note that you fold it towards you, okay? Because you're bringing in the love. Now, however, if you're doing this honey jar to really release old negative energy, fold away towards you because you want that negative energy and just out of your life, okay? All right, so take that time. You can use a special pen. Obviously with honey, some inks do bleed, Sharpies, things like that. Um, it's okay, don't fret. <laughs> it's not going to mess up your spell work. Um, some people seal off their bottles with wax. Um, I'm not quite sure whether or not I'm going to be doing that at the moment. Um, I know I'm going to be adding a little bit of amethyst, rose petals, and chamomile with my honey and my nose inside my um, my little jar here it's just a really tiny guy too nothing special you can use recyclables you can use a big jar obviously the bigger the jar the more the honey that is why with my honey jar spells I like to stay to stay small okay because it's not really the amount of honey but however if that's the intent that you put on it get a big jar get a big jar girl if that relationship just needs to be sweetened now some people add sugars you can add different oils um, you know some people actually do digest the honey afterwards once the relationship relationship is better you know I don't recommend that I recommend just keeping it in the bottle because if it's working it's working and you don't want to release that okay but you know everybody does everything differently um, I was looking up on how people do it differently because I know my Wiccans my Pagans everybody does everything differently so beautiful and I just love it but on the one one side it said it said you needed all these special herbs you needed a pink candle you needed certain cloths you needed a special um, a spell piece of paper um, all these special things and 
it said, you know, at the end of it, it said, of course, buy from us. And I totaled up all the ingredients and I was like, wow, this is gonna cost like $45 to complete this one honey jar spell? No, I'll pass. We're gonna do it, you know, old school style, you know, just it's the intent that you put in it. It doesn't matter really the ingredients. If you put the love and you put the manifestation in there, it's really gonna bring it out no matter what it is. You don't even need to use honey, okay? But just honey is very sweet. It symbolizes, you know, kind of just in capturing the sweetness and the brightness of life so let's just bring it in okay comment below on how you guys i would love to see you on the facebook side show me a picture oh, i will post it on the feed it'll be so nice guys all right so let's get okay, to it so first guys i am going to start off with a note this is something that's probably going to take the most time when it comes to the honey jar now remember bless everything the intent is mostly important if you have syllables you know numbers like i was saying anniversary dates or you know just something that you guys would like to tackle write it on there write full names you know put your intent here uh don't be vague when it comes to this note okay all right so i'm going to write this off camera because of course mine's a little personal and then I'll show you actually the active part which is just adding everything and I'll just show you how to go about that all right so let's have fun with it guys all right so here comes the fun part I am going to start off with putting my note inside my vial okay just like that look how cute that is another reason why I like these vials this is glass too by the way see that is glass. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are interested in finding them. Okay, so I'm going to add the darkest rose petals, okay, to symbolize a deep love, okay? Use different herbs and spices or flower petals, depending on what relationship. Okay, obviously you don't want your boss to fall in love with you. I don't know, do you? All right, so here's some chamomile, and I add chamomile a lot. Okay. I added a lot to my cell work. I drank it a lot. Um, but yeah, so this is just for healing, um, for bringing in that calm aspect. Okay, and just a few of them. All right, we're not needed too much with them. Okay, and I am just going to add one little crystal. I have to pull it out here. One little crystal for. Let's see, I have very little crystals here. These are amethysts. Um, I've got these from geodes that I have cracked myself, so they have more meaning to me. Um, so I'm just going to add literally just I think two. Two is a good number. Okay, all right, I'm gonna put the rest back. Sorry, my camera's all over the place with the autofocus. It's trying, it's a good one though. All right, so we literally have everything done already. That's what I love about these spells is it's just, it's very simple, okay? It's very beautiful. And the more meaning that you put behind it, the more influence the faster it will work okay that doesn't mean you have to go out and spend more money all right it's all what you do all right so this is brand new honey here all right don't cross contaminate with anything if you're going to be eating this later it's not like actually that i'm working with anything dangerous here but i always just like to remind people when they're using the same herbs and stuff that they're working with their spells that if you're consuming them to a later point just make sure nothing gets crazy you know especially when you're working with like candle magic and things all right so let's focus 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 all right so here we go just something simple let it focus back again sorry all right and just Fill her up. Like I said, the bigger the bottle, the more the honey. Sorry, getting out of focus there. Almost to the top. 
See that air bubble coming out of that nose? That's so cool. Almost. All right. Very nice. And let that air bubble over the top. Look at that. You can't see it because it's not focused, but look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, just seal it up. Um, now, a lot of people are very particular about how they seal their honey jars. Um, I just kind of seal it up and just wish good intention on it. I don't really go as far as waxing the tops unless, um, I would say like unless the relationship was abusive, um, mentally abusive, physically abusive, harmful, scary, uh, no need to really wax the top. Um, like waxing the tops for me is more like hexing, like protecting against hexes. Like, I mean, if it's really that toxic of a relationship, yeah, you're wanna, you're probably gonna wanna do all the bells and whistles. But you know, obviously this isn't for something that um, crazy, you know? Obviously, hopefully for some of you guys that are stuck in a toxic relationship, uh, you know, I pray for you guys and that you guys have the ability to move forward. Um, but for this right now, this is not that serious of a situation so I'm not going to wax the top okay all right I can already feel like the sweetness behind it just um just making it as is it feels really good now with this this is something you're going to want to come back to um you know just to hold it just to remember the sweet intentions behind it um you know maybe this is something you want to have um by your desk side on your altar uh somewhere where you see it daily where you can just remember the sweet intentions that are coming from this relationship Okay, that are coming into the relationship. And you'll be surprised at how fast these honey jars work. I've, um, you know, there's a reason why people do them so often is because they do have a really good success. Now, it is the intent that you put behind it, guys. So if you're kind of just doing this as hogwash, you can have hogwash results, all right? All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, you guys can check out my other spells. Um, you know, I have a lot of things going on with this channel, tarot readings, live streams. I do a lot of tarot reading for, you know, live. You can get yourself a free reading. I have money spells, so go ahead and check it out. Subscribe, become part of the family, as well as check out Facebook, too. All right, guys, blessed be.